All right, guys, I've been waiting day and night for this to become a reality. But it looks like I'm going to have to throw up a few videos in between. I'm sure you guys have been watching your Facebooks and all your videos and everything. There's going to be a U.S.-Japan battle of the um, mechs, I guess you would call it. It's a mech bot. Uh, where a person sits inside a mechanical robot that's like 10 feet tall, 15 feet tall, and it battles, you know, uh, you know, like all the video games, all the anime, all stuff like that. Well, this is actually going to happen. And Japan accepted the uh, uh, U.S. invitation to actually do this. And they actually built theirs, and now NASA and Megabots, uh, Megabots being a company that organizes or organization to organize this, have teamed up to build a giant fighting robot. This is going to be their version. So Megabots' first major one was Prototype Mark II, which was 15 feet tall. And it lumbers just under three miles an hour, so it's quite slow. Fires giant paintballs from 120 uh, at 120 miles per hour, so that, that's actually pretty good. Uh, next July version MK2 kitted with giant punching gloves and six foot long chainsaw will engage in hand to hand robots with a 13 foot tall Japanese robot. Yep, okay. And last month, Megabots challenged Japan's uh, Sudobashi uh, Heavy Industries uh, Kuratas robot to a giant robot duel. It accepted, and Megabots is turning Kickstarter to raise 500,000 needs to build a bolder, badder version of the giant fighting robot in order to defeat uh, Kuratas. The Kickstarter campaign uh, is currently at 78,000, and basically this was in popular science. I'm going too far into this, and I apologize, uh, but I want to do a background story, and I've never done this, so that was my reason for going over. Um, I am trying to limit my number of minutes or out or time on these um, these pages. Just to give general courtesy and everything to everybody. Uh, I'm doing this basically to give the information, not to copyright or fraud or steal any information. But basically just so that I'm giving it to you like we're having a conversation, not like, hey, look, this guy's here. Cool. You know, and then I read. Mm. So this is what I'm trying to do. Um, so this is great. Um, we see these in anime and everything else. And I was wondering when this was actually going to become a standard thing. And I know a lot of companies in the tech world are working on mechanicalized, autonomous, walking uh, mechs. Like you've seen in, best example is RoboCop. That big, whoop, 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 that big thing that RoboCop had to fight in the end. That was probably the best thing yet. Um, I forget the title of it. I'm not even going to look it up. But the second best, I think, would be the security bot in the opening scene of the original DSX in 1990s, where it looked pretty similar. It had like a head, two chain guns, or something similar to that. So I think that this will also be a uh, drone feature in the coming years to see that these are actually used. Um, I would love to sell a copy of one to the military for them to, you know, have actual mech bots, but. There's no real need for it at the moment, so they don't have it. But there's actually going to be a mech bat battle between Japan and the USA, folks, and NASA's helping them raise funds and build a better mech bot for the U.S. I know, I'm wondering why NASA's doing it too, but evidently they probably have the best research and probably a couple of the better guys. I don't know. That's our tech industry for the for the uh, people that I guess wanted the contract. I don't know. 
I'm pretty certain this didn't say either. Thanks.